Final fight for the ages between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Charles Oliveira. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Oliveira is one year his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who you first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Charles Dobrox. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go. The weight and the height gives way the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably.
arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Rock'em, suck him out of the shoot here! All right, single collar tie now. Troy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Danger in a lot of trouble. think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Left hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Hits the elbow there. Lands the double jab. Nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John. Oh! Oh, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, this one. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he got a bad! Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Nicely done. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic tweet. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Trying for a submission now. control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. 
Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two here. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, defense into offense, shot blocked. Counter hook is good. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? Try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy, is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has security. That's a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Olivera's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he's really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Oliver. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, good. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Back to the feet now. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting this. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Under a minute now to go on the round. Oh, 
Well, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh! Oh! He's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over him versus Ngannou, and you know he still haven't found out over his head. And they separate. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Straight punch lands. Oh, elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there by Oliveira. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Olivera's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Blocks the shot. Nice. Oh. Right. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated to try to get a Kimura here. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. The Kabor is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Posturing up now, and he's out. 
doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body. That's nasty. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 45 seconds remain in the round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack on bar here. He might get a finish here. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Joy. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And now he's got the tie clutch. Just out of the range with that right hand. All right, he closes the distance. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Great punch landing with so much power. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Oliveira. Oh, we got a fight for us. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting to finish here. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu. Wow. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground.
Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 28 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, and still, the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight, and now celebrates with his 